This boy thinks that I'm a slightly newish pilot. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, sorry, did I give you guys a seizure? That's my bad. So, I have been practicing a little teensy teensy little bit. Um, I haven't done anything with this besides turn on the alternator, the battery master, the avionics bus one, and avionics bus two. I have not talked to tower. I have not done anything. I haven't even loaded into like the voice server. So as you can see, again, we're sitting here in Phoenix and we are going on a flight route all the way to Tuscan. <laughs> Which is going to be, I think it's like a 40-something. Oh my god, what was that? Holy mother of pearl. So, I have uh, basically twice is how often I have been on this since I recorded my last video. I was going to do this without recording, but then I was like, why? I'm going to fly anyway, so why not do this? So I'm going to fly all my flight plan. The cool thing about this game I'm really tempted to just like start over from the beginning and tell you, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Man, did you hear my brain stop? All right, we're gonna go back to here. All right, so the cool thing about this game, and when you file a flight plan is you need the four digit airport code. So we're gonna take off from um, Phoenix. And we're going to take off from right here because we're probably going to take off from uh, the 25 left runway because we're going to have a taxi down. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll go here. Or they can just be like, here, go, and then take off. So we're going to set this as the departure. So what's cool is that they tell you it's KPHX. So I have that filed in my flight plan uh, on this voice server. We're not going to do this little custom guy. Get out of here, guy. Okay, thank you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fly all the way down to Tuscarone, and we'll just set that as an arrival. And it'll make us arrive on this runway right here, 29R, which is KTUS. And it's going to take us about an hour. Pro tip, it's not going to take me an hour because I'm going to fly really fast. <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and say, hey, let's fly. So that's pretty much the only reason why I restarted this. Well, so that way you can see if you are part of a server, uh, like a voice server, I'm using vPilot. Um... All you need to do is just go into the game and it'll show you because I've been looking it up on Google and I didn't even notice it. So that's a slight oversight on my part, but all in all, I think it's freaking awesome because now I don't need to do anything. All I need to do is just look at where I want to go and say, okay, here's a flight plan. Here's where I'm taking off. Here's where I'm landing. Done. All right, so we are back on the ground, and let's go ahead and go ready to fly. Look, now you guys are starting from the very, very beginning. So let's turn our alternator on, our master on, all that other stuff, yada, 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 yada. We're gonna take away the yolks, so that we can see what is going on. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on, turn off the warning. And then what we're gonna do is turn on the beacon light. Uh, we're gonna turn on the taxi lights, strobes, and the navigation lights but I kind of want to turn off the landing lights and we should be pretty good to talk to tower at least. I'm connecting to the voice server right now. We're going to see if anybody's on. They should be because Phoenix is kind of popular, but it might not be. I've been kind of like bouncing around. Like I wanted to take off from Hawaii and there was nobody there. I finally took off from Australia like at two o'clock in the morning, my time. And I was like, I love you Australians. And they were like, can you get off of our frequency? <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, I'm not seeing... There's nobody on for Phoenix right now, which is kind of interesting. So I wonder if maybe we should go... Like LAX and Oakland is on for center. Tell you what, let's take off from another location. Maybe we can go to like Hawaii. All right, so we are in Hawaii. <laughs> That is like pretty much the only place, uh, but they do have a ground, they have a tower, they have an approach and departure, and then they have a center. So I've never messed around with that. So let's go ahead and turn all of this stuff on. We're gonna make sure that the controls are free and correct. Look, here you go, you ready? Look behind us, see if there's a, okay, that works. Tight. Oh, my head detached from my body. Tower 118.7, have a safe flight, Aloha. 
1887, Aloha, 1934. Whoa, what? Who was that? <laughs> Why are you smoking a pack of cigarettes before you I listen. I want to fly around Hawaii. That's what I want to do. <laughs> and I don't know why a kid is doing tower, but hey man, the earlier you learn, the better. Like, I'm not hating. This kid sounds like he knows what he's doing better than me. So go ahead, man. You do your thing. Oh, I guess I don't even need that, huh? 12 volt power outlet. That's probably in the back. For you guys to charge your iPads, we don't need that. Good evening, ground. This is Whiskey Zulu Delta 7 requesting clearance to Honolulu. Forgot the name of it. Good job. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, Maui Ground. Good afternoon, sir. Stand by. Or clearance on request. Stand by. Uh, affirmative. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Oh, and then I got a pen and paper here. Wait, where's my pen? Oh my god, my pen's gone. No! Oh my god, I need to find it. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. I agree. Clearance advisory for copy. Oh, I don't know where my pen is. I'm taking another one. Ground, I am ready to copy. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, maintain VFR at or below 1,500. Departure on 119.5, squawk 5121. All right, I have a maintain VFR at or below 1,500. Departure at 119.5, squawk is 5121. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Is that correct? Did I read it back? Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, uh, read back correct. Uh, if you need a push and start, push and start, pass discretion, advisory for taxi, my altimeter, 29 or 8 9 or. 2989? What is that? 2989. That's not even his thing. Aw, these guys are awesome! So Ground said, hey there, welcome to the world of VATSIM and thank you for any chat. Here, let me see, can you guys, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but he said, hey there, welcome to the world of VATSIM and thank you for your traffic today at Maui. If you need anything, please feel free to PM me via the client with any questions or anything. Thanks, Cole. And then Tower said, aloha, Zachary. I'm an instructor at Honolulu. I see that you are a new pilot. Any help we can provide, please do not hesitate to ask. Smiley face. Good God, I'm moving to Hawaii. I'm done with you, Arizona. These guys are awesome. I'm gonna go live at the airport. <laughs> oh, is that 2989? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> well, who needs to pay $8,000 for pilot's lessons when you just turn a knob and it goes blink, 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 blink. Oh God, 29. Oh God, it's still going back. Okay, now here we go, 2989. Ah, uh, two nine, two nine or eight niner. Okay, so we're good. Tower, how are you doing today? Whiskey Zulu Delta Seven. Whiskey Zulu Delta Seven. Uh, aloha, sir. Maui Tower, how are you? I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much. I have a cleared flight plan to uh vfr at or below 1500 feet to honolulu ground i am requesting clearance for taxi whiskey zulu delta seven. Oh look there's someone behind me whiskey zulu delta seven rip to uh taxi by the apron to echo ground your mic broke up can you please repeat that he's waiting for me to say hey, from, yeah. whiskey zulu delta seven runway two taxi by the apron to echo a f he said a frame to echo i can't understand you boy i don't know what you say here that's not right whiskey zulu delta seven uh i can progressive taxi uh you to run my two if you'd like that would help out immensely whiskey zulu delta seven I am ready when you are. Roger that. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, make a left on the taxiway and then head straight down to Echo. I can help you out if you need any more instructions. Just let me know. Affirmative. Thank you, Grand. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. On that center line. Chill, chill, chill. Hopefully nobody's in the back because you're all going to throw up. And... Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, contact Maui Tower 118.7. Have a safe flight. Aloha. Awesome. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate it. Aloha. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Oh, I said aloha. <laughs> no problem, sir. FedEx 22, contact Maui Tower 118.7. Have a good flight. 118.7. 118.7. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 118. 
Tower requesting clearance to take off. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. I don't know if that's even the right thing that I'm saying. I should have said other words in that, but you know. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Hello again, sir. Maui Tower. And my first question to you, sir, will you be requiring a flight following today? And uh, you know if you know what that means. I do not require you to watch me on your screen. <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. And uh, once we get you... Uh, Airborne, sir, we'll just uh, switch you over to Unicom. A winds at Kahului, 340 at Niner. Uh, runway two clear for takeoff, report airborne. Oh, okay, report, report airborne. Got it, and then runway two, which is that. Affirmative, report when airborne, runway two cleared for takeoff, Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Ho oh, ho! This boy thinks that I'm a slightly newish pilot. And then what we're going to do, I wonder which way they want me to go. I wonder. I'm going to go this way. Whatever. We'll, we'll floor it. We got it. I'm going this way. He's going to yell at me. We're chilling. We're chilling. Got that center line. Hey, whiskey. <laughs> so yeah, that's my bad. Whiskey to Delta 7. <laughs> if you're able to stop in time, sir, um... There is no stop in this train. I am already airborne. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, roger that. <laughs> Sir, maintain VFR, powder below 7,500. Oh, okay. Affirmative, maintain VFR at or below 7,500. I appreciate it. What would you have said if I, like, how do I know which direction to take off? Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. So if you just look at your uh, your uh, altimeter and it will show you what direction you're heading if you look at your scope there. So 020 would be runway 2 and 200 would be runway 20. That doesn't make any sense. But how would I know which, it, like which direction? Because it looks like it's running s southwest and northeast. How would I decipher that? Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Let's put on the autopilot. That way I can talk to this guy. Um, that doesn't look good. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, sir. So are you looking at your uh, at your instrument, sir? I am heading uh, 235. Right. So you're heading, that means 235 is heading in about a south direction, approximately. South, southwest. And so um, if you were taking off on runway 2, your... Um, his scope would have showed you at a zero to four degree heading. Got it. And in what part of the direction from tower and or ground would I hear which direction to head? Well, runway two is 20 degrees, so that's heading north. Runway two zero is 200 degrees, that's heading south. That makes sense. I understand now. So I, I have up the airport diagram and bottom left is two, top right is 20. So basically you head away from the actual number. So sir, now you are entering what's called an MPA, which is a um, mountainous area that's 7,300 feet. So you're going to need to fly in a south direction heading 200. Affirmative, heading 200. So now we need to wait for this to go 200 because he's like, yeah, you're not high enough because right now I'm only 2,500 feet in the air, so I'm flying basically south, heading 200, so now I'm flying around it. Dude, how does this guy know this? Yeah, with Kizu the Delta 7, so I asked you to require flight following, you said no, I can still provide it for you if you would rather. <laughs> no, I think I got it. I have an autopilot in this plane, but I just need to make sure that I have enough altitude to go over these uh, mountains, and I'm gonna switch it on. We're at 1,300 feet. My flight, my vertical speed is not on. So whiskey's with a Delta 7, sir. Um, I'm just going to send you a private text message so we don't uh, clog up the radio frequencies here. Affirmative. You're going to hear, because he's going to talk to me. So that makes a lot of sense. And that is common sense, because if you guys go ahead right now, go into Google and type in Kahalalui airport diagram, then you'll see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. All right, so if you guys take a look at this airport diagram, you will see that in the bottom left is the two, and then in the top right is the 20, but then you have that other runway there that is um, 23, 
and then it doesn't have an, uh, or it has five on the other side underneath the little elevation 20. Oh, he said, I would be happy to help you out. We can chat on another frequency when you have time or perhaps talk on Discord or Skype or something like that. Whoa, bro, you don't know me like that. Why don't you stop, stop trying to get my digits, bro? Look, that's cool. So we're, we're way off of our, uh, our, our normal approach because we should have taken off this way and then taken a left, which would have been uh, west. And we didn't do that. But right now we're at 3,800 feet and we are just looking at people in the houses right here. Hey, hi, yeah, I'm an idiot. Do you know, did you know that? So what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna fly this way and maybe just kind of cut across here. He told me to stand by. So hopefully we can sit here and talk to him and we're gonna see exactly what he, he was watching me. He was like, what are you doing? I'm taking off towards the two, bro. You need to take off away from the two. So maybe what I'll do is I, well, my rudder just like freaked out. When you hit the rudder, that's what happens. Look at my pedals down there. Blah, blah, shear the wings off this airplane. Dude, I want this guy to explain to me what these runway numbers mean. Cause he said that he is an instructor. So he knows a ton, which is amazing. Do you have Skype? Oh, Dave, come on, man. Come on off a little, coming on a little strong. I do not. I don't have Skype, Dave. I'm not 13 years old. What is that? Oh, I thought that was like a big black thing in the sky. I was like, what is that? Is that a graphic glitch? We're good. This whole video is going to be done by the time I freaking get over there. It's 42 minutes. Maybe if I didn't take off like an idiot. Do you have Discord? I do, but it's not running. This dude wants to talk to me like bad. I do, but it's not running. Let me capitalize I. That way I don't sound like I'm a ding dong. Dave, you're kind of freaking me out, man, with your, with your persistent insistence, insistence, assistance. He's trying real hard to be my friend on Discord. Don't know if I want that to happen. 28 minutes left. Doom, doom. All right, I gave it to him. So let's hope this isn't creepy. And he's like, I know where you live now. So strong and so supple. Mmm. You want to take a flight? On time. <laughs> no. Dang, look at us go, man. Woo look at that. We're flying right on over to big old Waikiki. I'm just kidding. That's not Waikiki. I don't even know where I am. I know that that's an island. I know that we're in uh, Hawaii. Also, um, I asked them for slew permission, and they were like, negative. And I was like, okay, well, how about this? How about I'm going to do it anyway, and you can't do anything about it? So this guy said that he's going to add me as a, as a person. He's gonna add me as a friend, and then we're gonna talk. Why is this guy trying so hard to get into my DMs? Why is he trying so hard? He's like, you have a beautiful voice. Okay, number one, no. <laughs> okay, so this guy is doesn't know how to make a friend request. That's cool. Oh, pending. Dave. There's Dave. He has Bugs Bunny as his display picture. Oh God. What have I gotten myself into? This dude's hacking my stuff already. Aloha. Hello there, how are you? I'm doing good, Dave, how are you? Very well. I'm an old guy, so it took me a couple minutes to figure that part out. <laughs> no worries. No worries. So yeah, I was uh, I was confused by the whole takeoff thing because I watched you, <laughs> I listened to you go, uh, what are you doing as I took off from the wrong way? <laughs> yeah, so with the two and the five, and like the 23 and 20, is that correlating to the degrees on the compass? That's correct. So runway two, the actual heading of runway two at Maui is zero to four degrees. And then, so what about runway five? Is that just like, is that like five something degrees? That would be zero five zero degrees. So it's basically whatever the middle number is, if it's a single but digit. So if you, if you look at it on a compass, right? So runway two at Maui is 20 degrees, which it means just a little bit off of north. It's kind of north, northeast. Right. Okay, and then runway two zero is the opposite. So like if you took 20 minus two, you'd have a difference of 18 and that's 180 degrees, right? Ooh. So it's a, okay. Right, because you know 360 degrees is Right, a circle. Right. A circle, right? So half circle is 180. So that's kind of how that works. Got it. All right, Dave, I appreciate you for 
for Anytime talking with me, man. I appreciate yeah, my it. Pleasure. Yeah, it was nice meeting you, and hopefully we'll see you around soon, and uh, I can help you anymore. Just let me know. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Dave. You have a good night, man. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Dave's creepy. Number one. No, I'm just kidding. Dave's not creepy. That dude helped me out a lot. He was like, okay, you're going to do this. You're going to do this. He told me about class... Uh, he told me about class uh, B hair... Hair space? Hairspray! He told me about class B hairspray. No, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start descending, though. We're gonna descend down to maybe like 4,000 feet. That seems like that's a good number. Yeah, so we're gonna land, I think that we're gonna land on 2-2 two, two left, and then we're gonna go ahead and land and park, and then we should be pretty good. But look at that, now we're coming into Great Oh, it's probably like right down there. Oh, we're so close. We're like 10 minutes away, eight minutes. We're making it high, is that a reef? What is that? Is that a Great Barrier Reef? Is that a school of sharks? Is that a conga line of mackerel? What is that? That right there is probably the airport. Honolulu Tower requesting clearance to land on 22L Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Here. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Honolulu Tower. Uh. I dance. What do you say? I cans? <laughs> what? Honolulu Tower. Please repeat Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, I, Honolulu Tower, I dent. And then click the uh, I dent button on the uh, pilot plane. Affirmative, I dent is on Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. So basically he's saying I dent. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7, Roger Raider contact, one, one miles east of the Honolulu airport, cleared to the Honolulu Clash Bravo. And um, you can enter our. Sorry, correction. Make straight in for run. Or sorry, actually, I lied. Enter a right down for runway four right. They don't have a four right. Oh God, it does. It's on the other side. Whiskey Zulu Delta Seven Honolulu. Tower. If I heard you correct, you said go to four right for landing, and I'm cleared into class Bravo airspace. Is that correct? Whiskey Zulu Delta Seven. Whiskey Zulu Delta Seven affirmative. You're cleared into the Honolulu class Bravo. Enter a right downwind for runway four right, the Honolulu altimeter two niner, niner zero. My pen is not working. Oh God. Affirmative, entering into the right downwind to land at four right, two nine nine or zero. I don't know what two nine or nine or zero is, but I'll just read it back and maybe we'll see exactly what that is. So we're gonna go down on the right downwind, which means that we're gonna go this way, I believe. But we are looking at Honolulu, baby. Look at that. What is that? Look, lean forward. Oh, there's some sort of crater there. What is that? A mini, mini, uh, mini volcano? Okay, we need to chill because we have like four minutes until we're landing. We literally have four minutes until we're landing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm good. I mean, I should go off autopilot because we're coming in a little hot. That is definitely the airport. We called it. There it is. There it is. Four right is the, whoa, oh God, what is happening? Why are we doing this? Uh, four right is literally going to be like this one, maybe. Whoa, okay. Turn off the autopilot. We're good. We're just going down. We're going to go on the right downwind, which is interesting because this is the downwind. So I don't know what he's saying by right downwind. Tower, please repeat that. Your mic broke up. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. <laughs> Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Wind 180 at Niner, runway 4 right, clear to land. Affirmative. Clear to land, uh, 4 right. Thank you so much. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. We're going to this one right here. So we need to do like a nice little, do like a nice little teardrop. There is a lot of guys in here. Look, he's in there. He's somewhere in there. He's like, hey, hey, I see you. Okay, so we're on the right downwind. Cool. Normally, like uh, like the hover pattern is normally like 1,300 feet or something. So we, we got a little bit of ways to go. We're go, we're golden. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice wide arcing turn that way we don't hit any of that stuff because there's people there and we don't want them to take off. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hang out. We're gonna look at the, look at the airport. Hi. Hi, mom and dad, there's the tower. Oh, there was green lights. Did you see it? They're flashing me. I say yellow, green, yellow. Green. Can you guess the color that's coming next? Yellow. Oh, okay, we're good. We are just chilling, man. Look at this ocean, just straight. I remember when I went to Hawaii, it freaked me out. Oh God, where am I going? Honolulu Tower coming in for landing for two right. Whiskey Zulu Delta Seven. Boom, ba, da, boom, bop. Just letting you know what's happening. 
Roger. Roger. We are golden. Dum da dum 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 dum. I could land with no flaps. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, we might need to come in just a little bit shorter there, guy. Just a little bit shorter. Oh, there's a guy right there. Who is that? Is he taxiing? Come on, ATC, do your job. Oh, God, he is. Oof. That's why you have VFR. Oh, my God, we would have died. We're good. <laughs> he does not been going down the... We're good. Okay, we need to come in real hot. Flaps at 100. Killing the power. Hang on to your cookies, peeps. We are cruising. Hey, look, 4R. We nailed it. Good job, guys. Easy, easy. Last time I did like a nice little porpoise. So let's see if we can not do that. Let's do a nice easy does it. Nice little easy does it landing. How about that? Nice little guy. Easy. Still kind of crazy. Still kind of crazy. Nice. Whoa, God, easy there. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Welcome to Honolulu. Exit right on the Delta. And you can catch your via Delta. Have a good rest of your night. Affirmative. Turning right onto Delta. And exiting via Delta. Thank you so much. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Just kidding. Turning right on Echo. You missed it. <laughs> All right. Turning right on Echo. <laughs> I can't see. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. I think this no is No worries. I think this is it. I think this is it, maybe. Oh God. Nope, that's that's not good. We're, no, oh God. Echo, echo, whatever, we're, oh God. Oh God, oh God, okay, okay. We need a, okay, we need a break. We're good, okay, rudders. Oh no, wait, I hit it, I hit echo. That was echo, there was just a bus there for some unknown reason. Honolulu Tower, where should I taxi to park? Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. I don't know what I care, you can go wherever you want, just don't cross the runway. <laughs> What's that? Go on the runway? Park on the runway? Affirmative. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. <laughs> Negative. Don't go on the runway. <laughs> Affirmative. Do not go on the runway. Got it. Whiskey Zulu Delta 7. Yes! Oh my god. Okay. Thank you guys for coming along. It took me an hour <laughs> to do that because we got off to a very, very rocky start. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I heard what you guys are saying. Everybody's saying, yes, more of this super realistic flying, which I think is freaking awesome. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, you know, all of that jazz. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend if the weekend hasn't happened already. And I will see you guys in the next video.